Hey everybody, Mr. W here. Today's lesson topic is dividing with decimal divisors and decimal dividends. Decimal divisors just means that the number we're dividing by has a decimal point and the dividends also have a decimal point. The main idea for today's lesson is that for problems like this, your job is to move the decimal point to the right, the same number of spaces. Then rewrite the new numbers that you create when you move the decimal point and divide as usual. There are four steps. The first step is move your divisor decimal point all the way over to the right so that you create a whole number. But when you do that, make sure that you count the number of spaces, in this case three, because you'll need that information for the next step. Step two is move the dividend decimal point to the right the same number of spaces, which was three spaces. So we'll move that between the two threes, and then we will rewrite the number. This time it's 93 and 38 hundredths. Step three is don't forget to write your decimal point for the quotient. You don't have to. It's just a good idea. And make sure that it's lined up between the right place values. Last step is just divide as normal. Okay, so for this problem, we're just going to go through the steps now that we have our decimal point and we rewrote the divisor and the dividends. We're going to go to the second digit since we have a two-digit divisor and ask yourself, how many times can 46 go into 93 without going over? If you do your calculations, you're going to come up with 46 times 2 the 2 goes on top in the 1's place value, is equal to 92. The 92 is as close as we could get to the 93. We subtract and get 1, and now we're ready for the bring down step of the 3. So now we have 13, and we go back to the divide step. Ask yourself, how many times can 46 go into 13 without going over? Well, that would be zero because you can't get 46 out of 13. So because of that, we're now going to go over to the next number, the 8, and bring that one down. Now we have 138. How many times can 46 go into 138 without going over? If you do your calculations, that would be 46 times 3 and the 3 goes on the top in the hundredths place value, equals 138, which we write on the bottom. We subtract, and we get 0, which means we have no remainder, and there's no more numbers to bring down. Our final answer is 2 and 3 hundredths. All right, let's review the main point for today's lesson. Is just when you have problems like this, move both of your decimal points over to the right the same number of spaces. Then rewrite your new numbers for divisor and dividend and divide as normal. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, great job. Keep working on your division, and we hope to see you on the next one.